In Paddy do Alfiers, 60 miles from Rio de Janeiro, the Trincozu family has a successful tomato company. One afternoon, when owner Teodoro is giving some potential investors a tour, he finds a couple getting busy in a tomato sauce fountain. This began a month ago. Teodoro's son Teto is starting another day by waking up next to a woman he only met last night. He doesn't even remember her name and needs to check her ID to see it's Anna. Teto is a spoiled rich boy that hasn't worked a day in his life, and spends all his time partying and picking up girls. His best friend is employee Igor, who is always the one that has to guide Teto's conquests out in the morning. Teodoro is tired of Teto being a waste of space and promises to have a talk with him later about his future. Teto isn't worried and asks Igor to skip class to spend the afternoon with him, betting some money to convince him. After a horse race, they go out to try the new car Teto wants for his birthday. Meanwhile in Rio de Janeiro, Paula and her roommates get ready for work. They are medical students doing their internships and Paula's working hard for a residency. Her friends think she already won because Dr. Victor keeps flirting with her in a very inappropriate way for the workplace, but Paula's actually very uncomfortable with getting something because of her looks instead of her skills. After work, the girls get on a bus to attend the tomato festival. On their way there, they see Teto and Igor drive by at a crazy speed, and they call them playboy losers. The boys are also stopped by the police, however as soon as they see it's Teodoro's son that is driving, they're allowed to go without a ticket. Later, Teto meets with his dad to have that talk. Teodoro refuses to buy the car, explaining he wants Teto to earn it, so his gift to him will be a job at the company. He introduces Teto to Monique, one of the junior executives of the company. She'll be the one showing Teto the ropes, but the tour doesn't go well. Teto doesn't hear one word of what Monique says, even when she shares her story about making her way up slowly with hard work. Instead, Teto leaves to get ready for the tomato festival. Night falls and the festival is in full swing. Igor arrives and tries to enter the VIP section, but his name isn't on the list. Teto sees him and lets him in, but Igor's a bit hurt that his friend forgot to add him. Teto has also invited Igor's crush from school, not understanding that Igor is shy. To make matters worse, the girl doesn't pay attention to Igor, she just concentrates on Teto and even kisses him. Hurt, Igor tries to leave, so Teto goes to apologize and explain that wasn't his plan. Igor has to explain to Teto that women come easy to him because of his status, and he'll never know if any interest in him is real or not. To prove him wrong, Teto tells him he didn't put Igor's name on the list because he's family, not a random guest, and then he proceeds to take off his expensive jacket and hide his necklaces to join the normal crowd. At that moment, the tomato fight starts, which Paula and her friends are staying away from because they consider it a waste of food. Teto does join the fight and throws a tomato at Paula, getting her angry at him. However, she's distracted when she notices three men harassing her friends. Wanting to help, Teto defends them and gets his nose broken, but the men run away when they realize who he is. The girls take Teto to a quiet place and Paula fixes his nose while judging Teto for joining the fight. Her friends don't care about Teto though, they're here as a bachelorette party, so they leave Paula with him to help him wash the blood. Teto takes Paula through the greenhouse to find tap water and decides to lie, saying he lives there because his dad is one of the farm employees but he'd like to go to study in Rio. Then, Teto asks Paula out and even tries to kiss her, but Paula turns him down and leaves. The next morning, Teodoro surprises Teto with the car he wanted, and Teto promises he'll work to earn it. Afterward, Teto has a talk with Igor to share a plan he has in mind. He wants to go to Rio to find Paula, who he considers special because she's the first girl that has turned him down. To win her over, Teto wants to enter the company's trainee program under Igor's name so he can earn the job honestly. To convince Igor to enter too using his name, Teto offers a deal, there's only one spot available at the company, so whoever wins it gets to keep the new car. The boys move to Rio and stay at the apartment Teodoro usually uses when he comes to the city for business. Teto remembers Paula's friends talking about a wedding, so that night, he sneaks into the party. Once inside, he swamps clothes with one of the janitors and pretends to be working there. Surprisingly, he bumps into Anna, who is there because his cousin is the one getting married, but Teto quickly makes up an excuse to leave her behind. His goal is to follow Paula, and he gets to strike conversation as soon as he finds her alone. Teto lies again, saying he has left everything behind to follow his dream, impressing Paula with his bravery. At that moment, Victor interrupts them and tries to get Paula away from a janitor, so Paula gets him to stop bothering her by kissing Teto. The pair leaves to take a walk on the beach, where Teto gets Paula's pity by saying this is the first time he sees the ocean because his family was too poor to travel. After telling her about the trainee program he's joining because he thinks hard work is important, Teto tries to kiss Paula again, but she turns him down once more. The next morning, Igor and Teto start their first day as interns. They come across Monique and learn she's been fired, so she leaves in a horrible mood. Next they meet Celio, the marketing director, who immediately shows a preference for Igor when he introduces himself as Teto. The one in charge of the intern team is Alana, who Celio tells to keep a special eye on the boss's son. She wastes no time in sending Teto to make coffee, and since this is his first time, 
The final result has a horrible taste. His next task is to print some documents for a presentation, but he jams the printer instead. Meanwhile, Igor remakes Alana's coffee, impressing her with his knowledge of basic chores, since Alana also thinks he's the famous spoiled Teto. The actual Teto hears them talk and decides he needs to be more like Igor, so he calls Monique for help. He shows up in her humble neighborhood in his fancy car, and Monique has to save him from the neighbor's curiosity. Teto is shocked to see the tiny apartment Monique lives in with her sick sister and nephew, and promises to behave. He asks Monique to teach him all he needs to know about hard work so he can get the position through effort instead of privilege. The problem is that Teto can't pay her because his dad is making him earn his own money, so Monique turns him down because she needs a real job that helps her pay for a doctor for her sister. Hearing this, Teto goes to the hospital and picks up Paula. He brings her over to Monique so she can examine the sister, then Paula calls the hospital to arrange some exams. Monique is very grateful, so she's willing to accept Teto's new offer. If he gets the job, he'll gift her his car. Feeling good about having been of help, Paula also accepts Teto's invitation to go on a date. The next morning, Monique shows up early at Teto's apartment to teach him how important it is not to oversleep. He learns how to use the printer and gets the documents ready for the presentation, but when Celio points out it's the wrong ones, Alana blames Teto and makes him shred it off while Igor gets to stay at the meeting. Teto feels like he's being picked on, so Monique advises him to get an ally. Since the team's next task is to think of something cool for the incoming ad campaign, Teto impresses Celio by asking for some free samples so he can work on ideas at home. Monique also teaches Teto how to choose the best places in the city for a cheap but still very nice date. Teto takes Paula dancing and impresses her with the moves Monique taught him. Paula warms up to him and shares that her parents were always broke when they were married, so since their divorce, her mother's only dated rich guys, which Paula thinks made her very codependent. This leaves Teto thinking about his own dead mother, wondering if she ever felt free around Teodoro. Paula tells Teto that his mother would be proud of him and kisses him before asking to go to his place. Teto panics but he doesn't want to lose this chance, so he texts Igor to make him prepare things at home. Fortunately, Igor thinks of a plan quickly, he asks Francisco, the custodian, to lend them his place for the night, and he gets to sleep in Teto's luxurious bed. When the couple arrives at the building, Teto pretends Francisco is his uncle and tells Paula he's living with him until he finishes his training before taking her upstairs. Francisco's apartment is tiny and kinda ugly but Paula doesn't care, so they spend the night together. The next day at work, the interns must present their ideas for the ad campaign. Igor shows them a tomato mascot and Teto shares his design of a tomato sauce fountain. Alana immediately sides with Igor, but Celio prefers Teto's fountain. As a compromise, Alana accepts to put up both boys as project heads, making them combine their ideas. Later in the evening, Paula shows up at the company to pick up Teto. Alana finds her and warns her of Teto's reputation before taking her to the office, where Igor and Teto see them come and hide. When Alana comes looking for them, Igor tells her Paula is a crazy stalker, so Alana accepts to secretly help Igor out through the emergency door. Once they're gone, Teto goes to Paula and when he hears what Alana told her, he explains that Alana is just out to get him because she doesn't want him to get the job since she's protecting the president's son. Paula believes him and accepts to go back to his place again. Meanwhile at the parking lot, Alana asks Igor to take her out as thanks for helping him. Since he can't pay for a date, he invites Alana to the apartment instead, where he impresses her by cooking for her. Alana thinks it's very sweet for a rich spoiled kid to play the hardworking shy card, so she kisses him, and the two of them spend the night together. Paula and Teto are also having a good time, but they're interrupted when Paula gets a text from Monique asking for help because her sister isn't well. The pair takes a taxi, but the driver refuses to enter Monique's neighborhood because it's dangerous, so he leaves them nearby under the rain. Teto finds a lost horse and convinces Paula to ride it with her so they can reach Monique's place faster. It turns out her sister is having a seizure, so Paula helps her through it while Teto takes care of the kid. The baby won't stop crying, so Teto tries to prepare the only thing he knows, an egg. After some trouble, he makes a face on the plate with the scrambled egg, and being fed is enough for the baby to finally calm down. When Paula is done with her patient, she comes over and blows up a latex glove, then paints a face on it to give it to the baby as a toy. She and Teto end up bonding while babysitting together. In the morning, Teto returns to his place to sleep a little before work. Since Francisco is in his bed, he goes to Igor's, not noticing Alana under the covers. Alana only sees Teto's back and doesn't notice it isn't Igor, so she leaves the bed to make breakfast. Francisco wakes up then too, and Alana thinks he's Teodoro, so Francisco plays along. Igor finds Teto, who calls his friend out for cheating by sleeping with the boss, but Igor explains this is what Teto has been doing all his life so now he has to deal with being on the other side of it. Teto hides under the bed while Igor brings Alana to make her change, but instead, Alana gets busy with him again. This ends up with Teto falling asleep under the bed and arriving late at work, so Alana scolds him for it and explains she's already put Igor in charge of the project. 
As days pass, Teto has to watch how Igor guides the team, and Paula still has to deal with Victor's advances at the hospital. To make things easier for her, Paula's friends slip a sedative into Victor's coffee. The girls are also organizing a luau to celebrate their incoming graduation, and while visiting Teto at his place, Paula invites him to come. That afternoon, they bump into Teodoro, who Paula scolds for coming to the city to get in the way of his son's dreams. Teto tells her it's okay and after she leaves, he learns why Teodoro has come by. There's an important meeting with potential investors and Teto can't miss it if he wants to take over the company someday. It's on the same night that the luau, so Teto accepts with the condition that he gets to choose the restaurant. There's another issue though, Alana has heard about this meeting too and wants Igor to take her as his plus one. To please everyone in their lives, Teto comes up with a plan, he chooses a restaurant near the luau so he can divide his time between his dad and his girlfriend. As for Igor, they pay some actors to pretend to be the investors, and Francisco plays the part of Teodoro once again. The night of the meeting, Igor takes Alana and the actors to the opposite side of the restaurant where Teto is with his dad. Teto runs back and forth between the meeting and the luau, making up excuses like needing to go to the restroom, and changing his clothes in between. During one of his moments with Paula, Teto accidentally grabs a glass the girls have slipped some pills into because it was supposed to be for Victor. When Teto returns to the meeting, the pills kick in and he makes a fool of himself, especially when he gets upset as he learns that Teodoro fired Monique to give that position to his son. The next time he goes to the luau, he forgets to take off the suit and steals a guitar from Victor to sing a love song for Paula. He's so distracted that he accidentally walks on the fire and burns his leg, so after putting it off in the sea, he rushes back to the restaurant to swap clothes with Igor. At that moment, Anna arrives at the party and sees Teto run away, so when Paula says she's dating him, Anna tells her the truth. At the restaurant, Teodoro walks into the restroom and finds Igor and Teto taking off their suits. He tells his son not to come back to the meeting, which upsets Teto, but Igor reminds him it's worse for him because it could get his family fired. Afterward, Teto goes to the luau, but Paula is angry about the lie and breaks up with him. Teto tries to explain but he passes out because of the pills, and as Paula leaves, she bumps into Victor, who tells her she's won the residency. However, Paula tells him he can keep it because she doesn't want to work with a creep. Anna finds Teto on the ground and takes him back to his apartment. Igor's dinner with Alana ends well and she wants to spend the night together again, but since she thinks his dad is around at his place, they go somewhere else. The next morning, the story goes back to the beginning, revealing the people Teodoro finds in the fountain are Alana and Igor. Teto wakes up next to Anna, but nothing happened between them. However, when Teodoro comes to see him, he thinks Teto is being irresponsible again and kicks him out of the apartment. Teto goes to Monique's to ask for a place to stay, and Monique allows him to as long as he helps with the chores. While doing the laundry, Teto finds Paula's glove balloon and decides to talk to her again. He finds her by the bus stop and tries to explain himself, but Paula doesn't listen and tells him she's leaving for the Amazon for a physician volunteer program. Later, Teto doesn't want to go to the company ceremony, so Monique has to drag him there, but she ends up getting upset when she hears that this is to fill the spot they fired her from. Alana meets the real Teodoro, and when Celio announces Teto as the winner, both Teto and Igor stand up. The boys confess everything and after apologizing, Teto says nobody should have taken this job from Monique, who is the one that deserves it the most. Then, Igor and Teto try to leave the building, but Monique and Alana follow them and stop them. Alana tells Igor she likes who he is regardless of his economic situation and they kiss while Monique asks for the car as compensation for being fired so Teto could have her job. Igor wants to give it to her even if the car is his because he won the bet, so to avoid an argument, Teto offers an idea. They can sell the car and invest the money together. A year later, the four of them have a successful business growing organic tomatoes. On Teto's birthday, he gets two surprising visits, Teodoro, who is finally proud of his son, and Paula, who is impressed at how much Teto has changed. After throwing a tomato at him for lying, Paula kisses Teto, accepting to give him a second chance. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.